this thing anyway. Maybe it might be fine. Uh, setting up this stuff's a little bit of a pain, honestly. Trying to get it all to work. I have no idea if it even is. Hmm. It says it is. No frames are dropping, so that looks good. Is that what I'm looking for right now? It is. Oh, hey, it is working. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it is working. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> well, this is good. Uh, I've been spending, like, an hour, hour and a half trying to set this up right now. Apparently, it's wow, it even tells me viewer count. This is a different system. Holy crap. Okay, a bunch of things are different. Hey, Popo. <laughs> Have fucking hey, hey, oh, hey, Snorlax. Sans, oh god. I'm just like slightly surprised it's working. Um, if it's like I'm not even I'm not even dropping frames right now. This is really surprising. I'm on Wi-Fi, just so you guys know. I don't have a Ethernet. I'm surprised I'm not dropping any frames. <laughs> this is crazy. So I'm just like, oh my. All right, I work. You gotta give me a second here, guys. I gotta figure out how to go about one minor problem, which is I don't have two screens. Okay, so let's try this. I think this will work. Notification squad. <laughs> so yeah, I'm mostly just testing right now. Um, just to make sure it's working, I'm doing a stress test. Well, if this works out, then I might be able to do it maybe once a week or so. But man, so far it looks like it's doing fine. Just sitting here like, oh my goodness. If one of your streams is over half a year, I think, well, I mean, it happens. You get busy. So, I here's how I'm doing things right now, just so you guys know. I, don't, I only have one screen instead of my usual two screen setup. So... I just have Nox Player full screened, otherwise this thing's like a 50 by 50, 50 pixel um, display on XSplit, which means I can't see the comments. So I have my phone hanging up next to my laptop that's showing the comment feed right now. This is hard. <laughs> I'm having to make a lot of like compromises right now. It's kind of crazy, but it's kind of working, so cool. Okay, I think... Every yeah, <laughs> nice setup, exactly. <laughs> I have to get a few things fixed, but I think I can get it... If, if this goes well, then maybe I could do once a week or so. I, I no promises still, because, you know... <laughs> That's how things are. I don't even... Okay, I can't even see this right now. Sounds like a funky setup. It very much is. So yeah, as you guys can see, I haven't been able to do this at all. <laughs> I've been so busy this past week with work that, uh, well, <laughs> I haven't been able to really do anything. Have I haven't done anything? Yeah, I have. Okay, okay, cool. So I'm just going to test this. Um, guys, I cannot watch, I, I can't get a preview of the stream feed, so if anything happens, like, immediately let me know. <laughs> Like, in the comments, I am, or in the chat, I can see the chat. <laughs> Mostly because it's on my phone. <laughs> my goodness. I'm actually surprised my... This is working, though, so... Woo! <laughs> it's exciting. I actually might be able to get Cleveland, Helena, and, uh... Minneapolis to level 100 tonight. Am I late to the party? No, you aren't, Mushroom. This, is, this isn't even really a party, it's just me testing. Right now. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, right. I remember how this guy is. I will read that in a second, Sticky. It's really hard for me to read chat when it's really tiny. Ooh. Much is surprising. You guys probably can't even hear my keyboard or anything. Oh no, the phone. <laughs> phone, please do not go to sleep. The last thing I need you to do is go to sleep. This is difficult. How do I tell my phone to not dim? 
I've got it charged, don't worry. <laughs> uh. Alright, so what were you saying here? Let me see here. Speaking of, so today I literally strapped a spare fan of my GPU. It's on a plastic frame made. <laughs> plastic ties to the screws. <laughs> you just jerry rigged it. That works. <coughs> you just straight up jerry rigged it. That's perfect. Are you 1366 by currently? Um, currently. Normally I am 1920 by 1080. So yeah, I do. I am compensating a little bit for my weaker internet by reducing the overall resolution of the stream. So instead of this being a 1080 stream, it's a 720 stream. I think on the archive, it will show it'll, its max resolution will be 720. Whereas I think most streams max resolutions are I think 1080. So this should be 720p 60. I got a Magi back to back. Nice. That's pretty good. I got her a while back ago just by. All right, you know what? You know what? We'll do it for Popol. So I've, I'm in the build up cubes phase now. I got lucky. I'm honestly glad because I have not had much time to really do this event at all. So what am I farming for? Just trying to get the points. I still have. Uh... Oops, hang on. Just to give you guys an idea, I still have plenty left to get here. I have not had the time at all to really do any of this. <laughs> How do you feel about Chungus? <laughs> I've been seeing that meme, like, uh, just come out of nowhere. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You might even reduce FPS to 30 FPS. I might. Is it a little, is it still choppy? This is a stress test, uh, crazy. So I'm kind of going to be tink uh, tweaking it as I go. You got 5k going for Kaga. Nice. There's so many... <laughs> Sticky. That is the entire... Um, that is the entirety of the IJN fleet, though. Is Big Chungus a natural game? Though? I don't think so. I don't think it was. It's just been a meme lately. I don't think it is choppy. Okay, cool. I mean, I guess the next question is what resolution is everyone technically watching this at? Are they watching at 720 or is it being watched at like 480 or god forbid lower? <laughs> Hopefully it's not lower. Sakura Empire goes Eastern Federation. Exactly, I mentioned that. <laughs> They're basically Eastern Federation from No Game No Life. <laughs> That's like the big joke. Wait, is any is Minneapolis 100? Hold on, my limit stopped at 40k right now and no it'll continue. Oh wow, dang. You're at 360p? Eesh. So 20, 60 FPS. Nice! Mushroom! 360p, 360... Oh, so it looks like we got quite a variety. But if I, if someone is at least able to hit 720, that's at least a good start. <laughs> it helps if I set the stream to live. Okay, I'm trying to, like, read the chat and also dodge this big girl stuff. Well, at least I'm. Uh, I guess Popo, you can switch it back to like 720 now. Oh, you did right as soon as I said it. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally running on like a subset of my. Wow, is that my fan? Wow, you guys probably can't hear that. Thankfully, still smooth. Whew, that's good then. She looks grumpy. I, it, it's not the face that's doing it, it's the, I got my arms crossed. But I think that's her arms crossed. I can't tell if that's her arms crossed. <laughs> I can't tell. But yeah. Well, it's good to know that Lisa's working. Hopefully it's, what's going on? I can. That's like buzzing, I hear the fan. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. It's very, very... Again, I'm working off what I can. <laughs> How loud is the fan is the question, though. Muffin time is my favorite song, what? 
attacking a GPU fan. Are you on a laptop or a desktop? I am on a laptop. So, everything that you're listening to right now, not that loud. It's loud, not that loud. No, too loud. It's fine, just background. Sounds like you got a drone outside your room. <laughs> just imagine it. Now, is it like a, is it like a standard drone, or are we talking like Rainbow Six Siege drone here? It's background level. Okay, cool. I don't even know if it's gonna be like uh, on twenty four seven because it was only really going crazy there. Oop. Okay. Wait, who's shooting? How is she shoot? Seriously, how is she shooting some of these shells if she's not even lined up with it? Enemy recon drone inbound. Enemy UAV airport. <laughs> oh god, the COD jokes. I haven't. Yeah, here it is again. I think it's only because it's only when we're doing actual mob fleet fights. So that's kind of something. To, that's something to work with. I'm wearing earphones. Oh, rip. <coughs> Sorry guys. Yeah, ever since I've been trying, uh, ever since I like basically mo uh, drove down here, my, <laughs> my my allergies have been going nuts. Maybe it's because I'm not used to being in this area. <laughs> can't I can't install Knox on my PC? The installation wizard refuses to run. Eesh, that's not great. Hey, <laughs> see one thirty above. <laughs> I had a friend when I when we when I played Modern Warfare 2 with him all the time. Um he hated the 11 kill streak uh abilities so much that he would make sure he always had that level that like 5 kill streak predator missile and would okay, he, can't, he couldn't do anything with AC130, but it was usually chopper gunner. And every single time we would have that that one kill streak pop up, he just immediately use his predator and just save it for that. That's all he'd ever do. I mean, it was fun playing with him, but he's one of those guys that, like, every single kill made him scream. <laughs> you guys have probably seen a few of those rage videos. <laughs> he probably could be on one of them, honestly. Throws that fiat enemy. That, was, that does work. Oh, I did have fun. Um, when I was doing the C chapter, I had the three destroyers out. So I had uh, Ayanami Kai, C23 Kai, and Laffy Kai. It was really fun using it. <laughs> if only I could see, like, how crazy it was. Had to resort to install Nox on another PC, then copy it to my PC. What a workaround. That it, if it works, it works, man. My laptop can't run pro Nox properly, probably because of 4 gigs RAM. Not even the drones from Ace Combat 7 are this loud. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. I, I, there's no way for me to address that. I guess maybe I could get some kind of a fancy, th like, thing. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how else I could get around that problem. But, yeah, I'm just experimenting with what I can do right now. So, and I mean, it seems like it's doing pretty decently, though. You had a hilarious knifing spree in Modern Warfare 3 one time. <laughs> God. <laughs> My entire time of Modern Warfare 3 was get the ballistic vest kill streak, hold, uh, pull out the duffel bag, hold it in your hands, then run around and smack people with it. That was all I did. I always use fast guns on my Vanguard, tries to have accusers with. <laughs> I try to find a balance. I don't mind. Oh dear God, that's going off now. Okay, maybe there's gonna be a lot more noise than I thought there was. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That is the hotel air conditioner. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Well, hello, hello. You guessed it. <laughs> you guessed it's tuna. In game of Black Ops 2, I used a ballista. Oh, used a ballista. I want 32 one. Temper. I don't. I don't think I played Black Ops 2. 
I didn't play COD much, but I did terrible things in Battlefield 4 with Jeeves and Steve. <laughs> oh, I, no, I, I've done that too. I've also done that with uh, fighter jets in C4. Just jump immediately out, just straight up bail out of it and just detonate it. Oh right, I forgot this game. This this event follows Fallen Wings. Like back when I played, like I think it was Bad, but uh, Bad Company too. Whenever I did that one where you had to like blow up the objectives, I just ran underneath the objective, strapped a bunch of C four resupply, and kept doing it. <laughs> Eventually, I just straight up one shot it. <laughs> Azur Ian, yes it is. This is the Ian version of Azur Lane. I'm trying to finish up the Crimson Echoes, I think that's what the name of this event is. I keep forgetting the name of this one. You don't need 3-star in hard mode. I know. I'm mostly doing this to get their XP up. Also to burn oil, because I haven't really been burning oil. <laughs> All I'm doing is, I'm really just going for the clear, really. Because they still remember once in port. Oh god, you. you <laughs> I've not even played port Fortnite. I don't think I ever want to. <laughs> it's just not my game. <laughs> oh, you're next Lexington server. Oh, you're in Lexington. I'm in Aurora. See, the sad thing is, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and admit, like. <laughs> like, attest to this right now. Oh, some of you are probably like, can I add you on Aurora? Can I add you on Aurora? I literally can't. <laughs> I'm at the point now where I literally can't add anyone, and now this is happening. <laughs> this is my modern day struggle. Okay, then there's trash can, but trash can's a different person. This is my struggle right now. <laughs> I'm at a max friends list. And I'm at a max guild list. There we go. So yeah. <laughs> As much as I would love to just let people add me, and then I'll just accept it, I actually, I am bound by physical limits. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I think it's a bad game. Oh, you don't? Oh. I don't oh, hello, you sneaky little... Wait, I can't get... A no, I can. I can get around here. I gotta be clever with it. I feel like, I feel countlessly surrounded with Fortnite talk and memes every day. Well, I mean, you're gonna be surrounded by memes on this channel. <laughs> if that's not apparent, by, if that's not apparent very soon, I um. Well, oh, why Fudutaka? Huh? I didn't realize I was using Fudutaka. Oh, I'm probably leveling her. I forgot. <laughs> I haven't touched this game outside of doing just commissions in the last like two days. So that's why I've probably been like, what am I doing here? But yes, I'm, uh, I've got Helena that's at level 99, almost to level 100. Cleveland's at level 99. I, th I didn't look at Minneapolis again. I need to check if she's 100. So you can get the super buff. Having a plane to World War One tank is fun. <laughs> Not intensifies. Oh, classic. Why did I fire that? That's okay, she didn't use her skill. You get McDonald's at 9 a.m. I mean... I don't even remember the last time I had McDonald's. I don't even... <laughs> These days have been so busy, I don't even remember what I ate like two days ago. <laughs> That's my problem right now. I'm used to memes, but it's always Fortnite. Oh, so it's Fortnite memes. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you'll be running into Fortnite memes. You might run into a few, but probably more of just standard... You know... Memes. I don't, I don't, you know, specialize to one game. I am a variety here. This is a lot of fire. I should probably not stand in the dead center of this. I have not played this game in a while. <laughs> or at least seriously. The grind of time needed for the- will you not do that vortex attack? <laughs> I 
The only exposed of Fortnite is always a sign. You wanna know the one thing that like I'm not a big fan of Fortnite. I don't oh, hi Exter. Um I'm just gonna say this, I've been getting a lot of elite drops lately and I don't know how to feel about it. Anyway, um... Personally, I'm not a fan of, uh... The whole Fort like, PvP Fortnite. PvE Fortnite looks like a lot of fun. I will not deny that. <laughs> but... I think what's been bothering me a little bit is I'm starting to see, like, all these Fortnite guides everywhere. I'm just like, people are really publishing these kind of things. <laughs> This game is modless. It's pretty fun. It's one put like I think I've I think I've played five five six mobile games, and then probably if you were to include browser games, that's probably about maybe twenty. Um, this is really like the only non-console PC game that I've played that I actually do enjoy playing. Hey, Moon and Angelia Star. I have a question. How much time have you been playing this game? Is it free to play friendly? It's pretty free to play. Do you think pay to win is this kind of? And do you? Okay. So my mindset is this. I will say this. So this game is pretty free to play friendly. <laughs> it's surprising how much it is. So your real RNG bit. But I mean, aside from like the drops that come from, I mean, I, I mentioned this in a video I did a while back ago, but like aside from like your drop chances we get in this stuff or these, your main RNG stuff is going to be coming from over here, which is the uh, rare building. So like when there's an event going on, you can, you know, build certain characters that are only available during the event. This is like the stereotypical, you know, anime phone game or probably any game at this point. Um, and then you have to use, you know, two cubes, which are these resources up here, and you get 1,500 coins. Uh, you can do the light ones too, which are less, but that's a different story. <laughs> um, coin, you generate over a period of time. Uh, if you go here, so like the merchant, you can see right here, the merchants generate a small period of coin at about 276 coin an hour. And this is oil, but that's a different thing. Um, however, cubes, you can get a variety of ways. You can do these uh, like little quests. Like These are dailies and weeklies, and you'll get them from that. Airplanes are better. <laughs> Ify, please. Can I smack the bird? Yes, you are a bird. No, lagger, I'm not a bird. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty... Um, it's pretty easy to get the resources. Like, I got all the event characters like five days ago, and I've been building up a decent amount of supplies. So the next time I have to do an event, I've already got a decent amount of uh, pulls that I can do. Um, it can, if, if you're starting out around the time, like now, you might feel a little bit pressured into it, only because you don't have um, a lot of cubes to work with. Uh, there's a lot of people that have built up a lot of cubes over time, and I understand that, and that's definitely where a lot of it comes from. So, <laughs> it is pretty free to play though in general. Now, my, my thought process is... I mean, if somebody wants to whale, let them whale. It's their money. Let them do what they want with it. I'm not going to go against them on it. Um, I have dropped a small amount of money on this game already. Um, the reason is different from, you know, wanting to get a certain character. It's more of, I've enjoyed the heck out of this game. I'm going to support the devs a little bit. That's really it. So, <laughs> that's kind of the way I see it, is if a game if a game's free to play and it's pretty it's been pretty fun playing it I'll support them so like I I bought one of the I think it was the Christmas little gift bag they had it's like $30 so that's basically it it doesn't really give you too much of a benefit and besides um, you don't have to use cubes or the gems on things so dev support is pretty nice it is pretty nice so yeah um, I can hear police sirens. Literally the one reason you have it is in front of you. What? <laughs> oh no, I'm actually... Uh, she's actually the character I'm currently retrofitting. So she is almost there. Like as soon as I get two more of these... As soon as I get two more of these uh, destroyer blueprints, I can immediately go and unlock her modernization and then I just gotta get that. 
I'm working on her right now, and am I- who's my cruiser? Who's my cruiser I'm working on? Is it Cassin? Am I working on a cruiser? I just finished downs. Am I doing- am I working on Cassin? Yes, I am working on Cassin. Cassin's not a cruiser. I'm an idiot. Do I have a cruiser? Didn't buy that one. I mean, the only reason I also wanted to buy it was, where are you? Was because a lot of the winter skins were absolutely adorable. <laughs> and there were a lot of them that were like, you know, if I, if I random roll it, I'll enjoy it. Regardless, because they're all really good. <laughs> I got this one, so I'm really happy with it. Mostly because Yamashita was adorable. So, all the iron blood. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's all the skins too. So yeah, that is true. Um, another reason why people would spend money on here is because of the skins. So like they have all these that are live 2D. Some of these have custom backgrounds, which are I think are kind of cool. It's nice to see Helena get one too. By the way, <laughs> I forget how drunk Yugen it looks in this. But yeah, you see, there's all these skins that you can you know. Spend your gems on if you want to, and that's the premium currency. That's like the real um, thing people go after outside of the uh, this, outside of the promise rings. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty <laughs> nice one, Jack. <laughs> And cannibals, apparently. Witness me. Hello, you chief. Fine. <laughs> well, all the Yamashiro skits. Well, here. The thing is with Yamashiro. So, like, here's her default. This was the summer offensive one you got after, after doing the little quests for her. This one is the one you had to buy at Christmas. And this one is the retrofit one. That's it. So it's like her and uh, Signet, I think, both have a lot of skins. I think it's Signet. Where is where's my Signet? There she is. Yeah, so like, see, same thing here. She's got actually one more than her. Wow, she got one more than Yamashiro. Say so again. Uh, here's her default. This is her like summertime event skin that you get if you do all the missions. This is the New Year's skin, I think, or the Christmas. I think it's the New Year's one. That you get, and then you have her retrofit. So, that's really it. I've been witnessed. <laughs> Popo has been witnessed. I'm just gonna. You know, I feel like doing this. So let's let's do a little. Let's have a little fun here. Uh, Popo, I'm just gonna say, if I get Benson, I'm sorry. <laughs> that giggle though. So that's what her timer is. I see this 27 minute or should we just get the one out of the way? Okay, it, it's Juno. One ten is Sandy! 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 Dang it! <laughs> it's Carl! <laughs> but Carl, you ruined the joke! <laughs> Carl! <laughs> Hello, say. Uh, test stream. Yeah, it is. Mostly just testing to see how well it does. I need a good anime to binge. You have one? Do I have one? Uh, give me, give me what genres you like. Cause I know a good number, and really, I can't give you one specific one, unless you give me like certain genres you want to have in it. I was play this I was kind of hoping for anything on. Doesn't approve of you. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm exiled from them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't like me. Considering half the time, like, they'll be spamming in, in like, room four or something, I'll be like, you must oath her to actually be a true <laughs> coldest. Kyle, oh, that kills people. <laughs> Thank you. How's job training going? Uh, pretty good. Not too, uh, it's been, it's been pretty good so far. It's been pretty fun. Uh, 
<laughs> feels like school, but I don't mind it. <laughs> Some romance things, I guess? Uh, sort of a bridge of vice. I mean, kinda? It's supposed to be idolized, not married. <laughs> that oath, Sandy. Yep, yep. True cultists praise Sandy. <laughs> so. I got three Sandys so far. I have, I think, three? Where is she? Yep. I got three spares. And I got Boogie. I have the one character that matters the most. All I need now is just to wait for the Doot skin, and then she will be the immediate flagship of every fleet from here on out. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I must have 15 Sandy. I actually haven't gotten Sandys in a long time. Never got Sandy, and I was so desperate to get her so I can meme, so I sacrificed Blackheart and I lost her. Ooh, wow. Yeah, uh, San Diego was actually the first, my, like, third ship I got. Okay. She was my third ship I got, which, uh, and that was, at, like, when I first started, too. It was pretty funny. I can't even... Alright, the phone is blocking how many points I have. I think I'm in the 600s? Yes. <laughs> These are, I'm having some minor issues, but it's only because I can't see what I'm looking... Or my totals. I don't even know what I should want... I should get first. Hey, guys, I think I need oil. Do, do I need oil? Do I need oil? Should I get oil? <laughs> I think you guys all know the answer. It's just like, shut up. <laughs> Actually, I do need these, though. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and buy two of each. Let's just be balanced there. Because I could use all these, actually. I'm leveling up uh, Amagi and L Laffy's uh, skills. But yeah, that la the last uh, clear was pretty fun because I've been using... Uh... <laughs> this is what I used. <laughs> it was pretty fun to use it. You have any romance anime on me? Uh I'll have to res I'll have to look back at my list. Um none of them are older ones though. I mean I I, I think I feel like I've I feel like I've I, uh listed off a bunch of them before. I mean I don't know. I haven't really watched any crazy romance ones. I almost casted your stream on my TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a window with some bird staring at you. Lagger, there's no window behind me. I know this room pretty well. <laughs> behind me is a blank wall with a photo. Actually, a picture. You see, young hawk, you will grow to the point and you'll eat your subs up. What? What? I'm just trying to think of like some of the romance ones. Like, I mean, there's not like true romance ones that I can think of immediately off the top of my head. One of them actually is, I think, one of the quote unquote romance ones right now. Is, I think it's third season is airing currently. Uh, I need to actually catch up on that one. Uh, I think it's Day Dated Life. I think it's currently going on. I wouldn't consider that one a true romance because it's. I I don't I, <laughs> I can never really tell. What is where he? What his thought process is? Um, no, it is a picture of a mountain. Three D Kanojo. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one too. Or at least that's the one that I kind of enjoy. I should just make you wonder, what is everyone actually watching? Is anyone watching right now? Like, is there any... Okay, looks like I see someone said Daily, Daily Life 3 already. I'd like... I'm watching... There's two I, I need... Like, I'm watching one right now. I want to watch Daily Life because I actually did enjoy the overall storyline. 
not necessarily, I'm not really a bit like a hardcore anime reviewer nowadays. I'm kind of the guy that sits there and just turns your brain off and watches it. You know, I just enjoy it for what it is. She's in Bata Yoru. Tate no Yusha, okay. And Trick, this is so sad. <laughs> Alexa played his pussy. Suzerei <laughs> Chou. Oh, that one's adorable. I love that one. It was. I love that one so much. I actually still have that one. <laughs> I think I like. I, I actually want to rewatch that one. They're not like really long episodes, but man, I loved it. Not watching anything, but I've got a list of stuff to watch when I'm in an anime watching mood. Reincarnated as a slime. What? I don't think I've heard of that one. I haven't actually looked at what's currently airing, so I have no idea what is airing, what's not at the moment. How many of you exist? I guess we're just gonna fight them all then. You read the manga. It's kind of like how I was with. Uh, I watched. I think. Uh, uh, I don't think I've watched every single anime that I've read the manga or the light novel for. Um, I didn't finish all of Re Zero. I need to watch uh, watch the rest of the Re Zero adaptation. Um, DXD I am behind on, sadly. I need to look into getting that. Although DXD, I it's surprising how much I really do like that storyline. <laughs> Wait, let's watch anime on Rabbit, like stream it. I can't, uh... Yeah, if I were to stream any anime right now, I would be immediately blocked by... <laughs> Nobody in Japan could watch me. <laughs> Which really isn't one to the relationship still having to me. Oh, uh, okay. My huge Black Hawk helicopter? Wait, what? I don't think I was ever. I never. I haven't officially said I have. Uh, I identify as anything. These days, something it is pretty good. I mean, I <laughs> when I was watching um, back when I was when I like got my reboot and watching anime again. Um, watching DXD was an uh, interesting experience. <laughs> I didn't know how to feel about watching it, uh, season one of DXD, and then they toned it down in season two. Uh, haven't have I seen season three? I'm trying to remember. How many, is there three or four seasons? I keep forgetting if there's three or four seasons right now. New, new next, one, I think I don't remember how many there are. What about your past usernames? Um. Oh wow, Minneapolis is level 100. Um, no, I think I haven't really changed my username in a while. You watch anime? You want anime? Watch Lost Pause? No, no, I'm not gonna watch Lost Pause for that. <laughs> There's so many things that I don't know how to feel about when I watch Lost Pause. He's, he's, I mean, he's funny, but the dude makes me cringe. <laughs> I could not, like, I do not have that level of, like, I don't even know what, what to even describe that personality trait, or what personality trait that even is, to, like, go and do the stuff that he does. I could not do that. <laughs> I wonder why Minnie got nerfed in plot area. I mean, she could be, like, Hood. Hood doesn't look like, I mean, when you look at Hood normally, she doesn't look like that, and then you have her summer skin where she, you know. The crunch makes it good. <laughs> New Year got nerfed. Oof. Ouch. Is this my hard? Is this my exact hard? No, this isn't. Oh, this is my. Uh, I'm sitting here thinking. I was like, is this my chapter nine and ten fleet right now? 
I think this is my chapter 9 flea, but not my chapter 10. I've been like trying to plan ahead of what I want to do for chapter 10. I don't think I don't think my chapter 9 and chapter 10 fleets are I identical. Starts making cringy stuff on Discord. Okay, I make memes. I don't make cringe. I mean, I guess I could make cringy things. I don't want. I mean, if it makes me cringe, I definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> There's only so much of uh, cringy things I can do in a day. Now, if it's memes, that's a different story. If, I can, if I'm in one of the, if I'm having one of those days, yeah, I'll make like a billion memes. Heck, when I when, when um a while back ago when I got a template for <laughs> like the little notification that Amazon has when she's like doing the tutorial, <laughs> I made like I think three or four. I think I already made like six or seven memes for Azur Lane. He has us for that. Oh, is that how that is? I did the thing I do where it's I'm using my abilities ahead of time and I'm not paying attention to the, the fact that I'm in a boss fight right now. Also I have Fudutaka in front who's I think not as good at dodging as Helena. Please can you proc your skill? Thank you. Be nice to actually see what level is she? 85? Okay. That would explain why she's been able to handle the Awarida. It's funny, I used to have uh, Enterprise in the middle, and then when I limit broke Hood, she had like the massive health boost. So I was like, I have to use her. Nevada troll me in loot battle, Pensacola troll me in build. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Yeah, usually nowadays for me it's Langley. Langley is my big troll character that I have to deal with a lot. Have I dropped any frames at all yet? I have dropped 4,800 frames. Holy crap. <laughs> really? How many have I encoded already? 15, no, 152,000. Okay, so that's like nothing. That's like 4... no. 3.5% I think? Or 3.3% of frames I've created so far have been dropped. Do you prefer Hood or Amagi combat and waifu wise? I have not used Amagi for combat yet. So I can't answer that one. As for overall personality... I like Amagi, but that's also probably because I don't have much of a grasp of Hood's personality in terms of interactions with others or overall motives. She's got this elegance to her, sure. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got her retrofitted. But... I don't know. The only thing I can really say for Hood is that she acts elegant. And, you know, tries to be proper about everything. Which is fine, that has its own realm. I have 278 ships. Okay, I need to do something about that. Uh, actually, Ab Abukuma, where are you? Where did I put you? Oh, and of course you're pretty much done. Actually, no, no you're not. Let's throw all the destroyers at you. Every single one of them. Torpedoes included. Okay, not the torpedo part, but okay. <laughs> Takao or Belfast? Takao? Are you... did you mean a Tago? Because they're... like, I can understand why people would look at a Tago versus Belfast. Because they both have roughly kind of the same uh, uh, offensive skill. But if it's Takao, I guess that's different. It really depends on what you kind of want your in your team. If you need more firepower, then I'd probably go for the DPS character of the two. If you want more survivability, I think Belfast will win. You stick out when you have a Oh. Where is a Tago? There she is. Also, I'm kind of glad she's finally got her, uh... 
she's finally got this. How to use prints. Wait, how to prints? But yeah, like, actually, let me actually, I'm actually gonna compare. She's a CA, she's a Torp CA, so she's got better evasion than a gunboat. Okay, reloads, all right, power. She's level 73 and she's only limit uh, LB1, so that's, I guess, not bad. Focus to stall, double damage, okay, that's good. Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. Double sword, oh, okay, but those are actually both pretty good. Oh yeah, I could see why people would say she's good for DPS. Uh, compared to Belfast, I don't think Belfast is going to beat her at that. Um, Belfast, I think, has br burn order and smoke screen. Yeah. So okay, yeah, if you don't want so if so if you need if you need more survivability in a uh, in your fleet, then yes, I'd say Belfast is better. If you're wanting more damage, then yes, Takao is better. Um, also, there, of course, damage is going to be... Takao should win the damage fight. She is a CA versus a CL. Simple hood healthy. Amagi is sick, so which one would you want to take care of? How to use Prinz? Prinz is... She's a good. She's all, uh, uh, just like an, uh, a few other ships, which are basically like there's a set expectation for a ship class, and then there's the exception. A good ex uh, example of an exception for the destroyers is Z23. Most of them aren't. Ve most destroyers aren't great at firepower. Z23 retrofit <laughs> competes with CLs. Oh, she's a crush. Would you look at that? Um, she competes with CLs. <laughs> so that's pretty scary. Uh, I need to get these skills leveled up, so that'll come later on. Uh, but yeah, Prinzugan is another exception, or another example of an exception. She's a really, really good CA if you need someone to survive, because she her health pool is absolutely nuts. What? Why is this showing up? How do I? There we go. But yeah, she's got a really insane health pool to work with. So if you need someone to kind of survive, she's a good one to do. The shield... Shields, it's not really great. I mean, it's nice to be able to have it every now and then, but it doesn't block as much as it sounds like it does. So, I mean, she isn't bad. I will say that. She's not bad to use. She's not the best for a lot of scenarios. I would prefer, instead of... Uh, in most cases, I would probably use a CL with like smoke screen or something. Like if uh, if I want to, I could say Belfast would be a good example. Another really good example. I'm actually using her right now. Where is she? Leander uh, retrofit. Leander is a very good CL. She's especially retrofitted. Man, that power is pretty good for a C. I actually am half tempted to put see how she would do with a Belfast gun, just to boost that power more. It's mostly also because I play manual a lot, and so you can potentially uh, match damage with this if you're playing manual. But, yeah. <sighs> it's dependable. Hey, Exeon! Or, uh, or Kaiser. Do you want me to say what you call you by the first name, or, or the first part of the name, or your, or Kaiser? 610 Torp or Quintuple Mag Torp for Hanami. 610 Torp. What is the 610 Torp? Is that the... I don't have them down. <laughs> I should probably look at what 610 Torp is. I don't pay attention to the exact names. This is the three, they're five, uh, 533. What is the 610? Oh, it's the uh, IJN stuff. Uh, I'm using these right now because of the torpedo bo stat boost. They're not, they don't seem too bad, honestly. I have heard people say that the magnetic torpedoes are worse than the, uh, standard torpedoes. So, I would listen to what other people would say. Uh, because I've heard good things about both the magnet, about both of them. And I've also heard bad things about both, so. 
I don't know, it's a toss-up. Really, the only reason I'm using it is for the 70... <laughs> the plus 70 to Torpedo. Okay, that's fine. KKD. Did you say something? I'm trying to read all the comments. Here. But she needs a lot of buff and fiber. That is true. She does. If she could get a massive tweak to where her firepower is pretty good... Then I think she'll probably become a main character or a high. P she'll gain. She'll have a higher pick rate. If you want to go by off that. <laughs> My torp damage is lower than other torpedoes. Oh, I, that's that's what I did here. That's one of the things. Six ten does have the highest, and it makes sense because IJN it, it has. Er, no, it, not, not it makes sense. It's just it works a little bit better because she's IJN and those and the six tens are IJN based. So I guess I guess if you're one of those guys that are like a purist, where if a ship is like IJN, you only give them IJN guns. That actually would be an interesting modifier for people, is to go off of uh, being forced to use the weapons that each uh, faction has. <laughs> well, then you're, <laughs> and then you have Aurora and then Ninghai and Pinghai. What do you do about them? <laughs> they're just, they're just SOL. For the test chain, there's a lot of peeps coming. Eh. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not used to having, you know, uh, 30. I used to have, I think at best, somewhere between 8 and 15, and I was fine with that. But, it's, I'm trying my best to do what I can with 30 of you. You got a Magi yet? Yes, I did. I have, a, I have all of them already. Not trying to brag or anything. Hang on, I need to listen to... Wow. There we go. I just need to hear that voice line because it always makes me chuckle. Where is there? She is. I haven't. Oh, I should take these off. Something I've been doing lately, and my phone shut off again. Something I've been doing lately is when I get a new ship, I strip them of their new gear, so that way I don't have these whites taking up inventory space when I switch them out and forget. Because I am getting to that point where I might actually have to start buying some storage upgrades or just looking through what I have. Actually, I have 20. Do I need 22 of these? <laughs> Do I really need this many? I should actually start looking at some of these things and just kind of seeing what I would like. I haven't tested everything. I should probably start testing some of these. Still no Carrier Kaga. Oof. Wait, Carrier Kaga? Oh, for like 3-4. Have I, have I read Azerlain Dulgens? I haven't seen any... I don't think I've seen any Dulgens. I'm sure there's plenty of H Dulgens, but I don't think I've, I've seen any non-H ones. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you, even with the Kansai collection, I've only seen, I think I've, I've only seen or read about three or four. That existed among the like thousands and thousands of H ones that exist. I kind of actually wish there were more <laughs> non H ones because the stories in those are usually really really good. Enjoy the fox slash salt mines. Ugh, yeah, that's crazy. I have to wait 14 days for that Akashi quest. We all did, man. Don't worry. We've all been there. Uh, it absolutely is a pain to go through. That's a lot of twin gun. Oh yeah, I have plenty. Non H dojins are rare in general. Mm. Kinda, I guess. I mean, if you can... Any non-licensed, uh... Manga is technically a doujin, as long as it's self-published. Uh, What's going on in the dorm? Who did it? Who broke a light fixture? Oh, they're starving. <laughs> I want I want to see- I want to see what people can do to this icon to make it like its own meme. Like, right now it's just Glowworm screaming food. I bet people could edit it and make it something else and make it really funny. Oh, I should probably use these. There we go. And it looks like we found some coins. How many How many coins do I have now? 1308. I should probably buy some of these. A bit behind. Winery. Alright, what do we got here? Boosh. There we go. Bought all of it. Boom. 
Who's knocking there? Alright, someone's blaring their horn outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was doing comic anthology. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I should probably find the non H uh, dungeons that they have, if there are any. Because I've been seeing a few, like, what looks like uh, manga manga setups for uh, some of Monster Lane stuff, so I actually do kind of want to see if I can find some. No, no, don't buy. <laughs> Wait, why, why should I not have bought something? Buy the limited one first. Which one's the limited one? Oh, I, oh, right. I didn't like this one. I don't know. I didn't like this one in general. I guess I could get it for the comfort bonus. Where do I find Yudachi? Kaiser got it. Okay, yeah, but yeah, 6-4. I should probably get this. It won't take me too long to get this up, though, and I still have 12 days. I run commissions constantly, so it's pretty easy for me to get that much. <laughs> but I'm not gonna, like, lose sleep at night if I don't get it all. Because it's... Not really something I should... Actually, you, you know, I should probably do a... How do I... Hang on. No, pinch. There we go. I should probably do a uh, redesign of my dorm eventually. Wait, what are you doing out of bed? There. There we go. <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I looked at that uh, dorm setup. I just I wasn't too fond of it. But again, I spent way too much time on my dorm. How many total invent point do I have right now? I think I'm around the I think twelve thousand mark. Fourteen k. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you beat me to that one on the answer. How do you zoom out of the dorm in Nox? So, you hit your middle mouse, if you have a, like a wireless mouse or a corded mouse. Because I know some people that have been playing this with trackpad don't... I don't know why, but some people do. <laughs> uh, he... But anyway, um, a little dialogue box will appear up at the top right, you've got pinch. And I think that one's hang on. Pinch and pan. You want the pinch setting, and then when you do that, you click and then pull out, or like click and then move your mouse outward. I think that's I think that's the way. Hang on, let me double check. I think it's outward. Is it or is it inward? All right, but yeah, let's try this again. So middle mouse button. It's on the pinch setting. Click. Okay, yeah, zooming, uh, so, going outward, zooms in, going in, is out. Whoops. Hi, Bailey. And, well, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, it's kind of a neat little thing too, because it's a lot. When you have a, so much screen space to work with, you can get your whole dorm. What equipment do I use for a Cleveland? I think I have the TBT. Is it TBT TSK? Let's see, the really good AP um, main gun for Cleveland. I've got I think the 127 dual on her right now. I might try maybe the 100. I don't know, I'm experimenting with her with their secondary. Uh, AA gun. I have no idea what I have on her right now. I think it's the really good uh, iron blood AA gun. It might not be tier four. It might be tier three. And then I think I'm running a max max enhanced toolkit. And I do not know what the uh, what the last item is. Your dorm looks like a bath haven. Four peeps out of a dorm room. I mean, you can in the sense that you can get the second floor, so technically it is, but 
It's not. I, yeah, I do kind of wish you could have more than more people in there. Or like what like what they could have done is maybe give you like let you have uh, the five like you can choose the five people that are in the dorm that get the benefit, and then they can randomly have other characters in there as well. Kind of like how when you hit the academy and look at your overall base, you can see random characters out there sometimes. Use Torpedo Bulge and Repair Box. Shoot. Repair your salt and 20k points you get a Rainbow Box, 100% gold equipment. And guess what I got from that? You got a Repair. <laughs> I've done... I've had that twice. I've had that twice. I have had that twice. It is slightly annoying. <laughs> But yeah, something I've been doing lately is my- it depends on, like, what the overall ships- what the ship class really is that determines what auxiliaries I've got on them. So, like, Cleve- uh, not Cleveland, uh, Minneapolis. Um, I've got the beaver badge on her. And I th think an SG radar? Or a toolkit, one of the two. Should probably shoot. 69 oil consume. Wow. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about oil though, uh, Owang. When you see my, uh, when, we, when you get the chance, look at my oil reserve. <laughs> you'll see why I'm not concerned. Also, uh, take my current oil, res oil reserve, you'll see in a few seconds, and add 2700 to it. You can, this is why I haven't been able to play much. Er, no, this is why I'm, I don't mind the oil consumption rate. Hello, what it is? Hey, Derp Master. My chat room is crazy about Neptunia waifu washboard. <laughs> oh, you mean Banan. I'm assuming you mean Banan, unless you're talking her sisters or somebody. Farm Jitsu and become a salty person. I thought I was going to be a salty person with Poi. It didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. America has joined the chat. <laughs> oh, God. It's not what it looks like. I have a lot of oil, I know. I think one thing that would be kind of cool that you could do in this game would be to be able to actually set target preferences. So like, um, if there's like a suicide boat and elite and a standard ship you could tell, like, one ship to shoot the suicide boat, another one, or to prioritize the suicide boat, and then another ship you could tell them to prioritize the elite. That'd be kind of cool. Is the boss note out yet? It's not. But Tin 4, it's kind of hard. Yeah. I feel like hard mode would make that a little easier. Quote unquote, quote unquote, easier. <laughs> you only have to deal with one run. In Fox L. Oh yeah. I need to. I, I was actually was was leveling them up. Um, my two. I was using two IJN fleets for the main storyline of this uh, event. It was kind of nice. Um, I will say one thing. I do not like draw fire as a skill anymore. <laughs> So like I was trying to avoid using anyone that was I think level like 90 and up because there were still characters I wanted to use that I haven't actually used that were like level 80 like Abukuma for as an example. I'd given Abukuma a good amount of time. I used both Kaga and Akagi and then I used Issei and Hyuga. What are farm at D2? I am not farming at D2. I'm trying to clear D2. I am very behind on the event, man. <laughs> I play it auto because I suck at playing it manual. I've been playing enough freaking bullet hell that I'm just kind of getting used to it. Although, I say that and I'll still ram to the first torpedo I see, or we encounter. Although, sometimes you, like the bullets are just way too hard to dodge. What 
do you farm at me? Not really farming. <laughs> I'm I'm seriously not farming. <laughs> like you'll see, I'll have like eighty percent completion after this. I'm making a run or two for poi. Oh, really? Oh, good luck. Because poi, of course. Because poi, very important thing. Remember, you must always get your daily dose of poi. I hit that way too early. Do your skill thingy. Thank you, Hood. You did your skill. You're too lazy to run manual, so you auto it. That's fine. I I I like personally doing manual. You have a bit more control. Trying to get this lined up. There we are. Furusaka is not getting much of a chance here now. Will you oath a bowling? I gotta get around to it. Um, my major problem right now is I've got one ring and I think 24 ships that are looking at me wanting it. It's kind of not... Oh, it doesn't work. I mean, to be fair though, Kaiser, I've seen people... Or, Zeon... I've seen, um, I've seen people that actually play like chapter 10 and up and what they'll do is they'll mainly do manual, but when they want a precise movement that auto is very good at doing, they'll switch to auto. It's kind of interesting. I never thought to use auto that way, but some people have been and I find that unique at the least. But yeah, I'm not actually farming for anything. I'm actually trying to complete it. I gotta get a put get a clear on here, and then I can move to uh, D3. You auto up to chapter six, seven with my level 100s. Beyond that, I manual. I only the only time I'll auto is on hard mode when I'm just doing it as like a chore. I'm hoping I can actually finish uh, uh, Tanikaze tomorrow gonna add you on AL <laughs> I just went through this <laughs> I would love to but uh, the first thing you need to do is go to the Ozone Lane devs and tell them to increase the friend list counter <laughs> but you are welcome to add to a growing list of people that actually want such is my life <laughs> I'm going to switch back to it. But yeah, I am on Aurora otherwise. I am on Aurora. You're still welcome to enter the guild. The, uh, like, put in your information for the guild if you want. I don't know how much, how long it'll be, because I think these two people that just got in, uh, I think put it in, like, 12 days ago. And I've got two people on, uh, waiting list. I definitely have, uh, We'll try to get them in if there's room. Hopefully when we level up again, but it'll take some time. You have a Discord group. Yes, I do. I do have a Discord group. It is in the description of the stream. Dear Master, would you like some Nevadas? <laughs> do I even have any Nevadas? I imagine I do. It's a common. I have two Nevadas. I have no Oklahomas, though. should probably retire this Long Island because I don't need it and that's not me saying like being mean to Long Island I literally have n no major use for her because my actual <laughs> my level 100 Long Island doesn't need it after the damage level update I can auto 10 4 no problem but the first 10 times when you don't get that damage reduction yeah I can understand that for sure Thoughts on Pinghai and Ninghai. I haven't used them yet. I should probably get around to using more ships. But yeah, I was using... Let's see. This was my fleet for... This is this was my boss fleet. Um, they handle... <laughs> Whoa. I actually have not seen her... Hang on. Do it again. 
I'll become mud, do that again. Man, that's impressive, juggling one item. <laughs> yeah, this was my boss fleet I was using for story mode to level them up. Uh, they got a good number of levels. Nachi was level 30, and Shigure was level uh, 48. What's the guild name again? <laughs> uh, one second, I'll get that too. And then the other one I was using, I think it's over here. Yes, so I was using Aoba. Uh, Myo uh, Myoko, right? Myoko? Yeah, Myoko. Uh, Tarekaze was my main DD. She did really well, which was nice. Of course, I've got Fox Twins, or Fox Girls, whatever you want to call them. And Hyuga? Issei. I always get their names crisscrossed. Uh, the only reason I have her in here instead of uh, Hyuga is because Hyuga actually buffs uh, Yamashiro and Fuso. What was the guild name again? Guild name is Bully Boy. <laughs> Could probably change it. Yeah, Ian has yet to receive the retrofits. That is true. I'm gonna retrofit both of them anyway, mostly because I don't have anything else to use these. Uh, what six battleship retrofit plans, as well as the 57 I have here and the 25 I have there. <laughs> what am I gonna do with those? <laughs> Oh, oh, cool. Okay. Boop. Built one of those. So yeah, I got a lot to do. Um, didn't show up in the shirt. Search. Really? It didn't? Bully Poi, and then here's the ID. Six, uh, 67, 111, 209. Yep, you have to wait. Need, you need to wait for a while. Yeah, it'll be a while. I'll just be, I'll just keep accumulating them as I go. You have 30 gold BP. I have 22 cruiser. That's about as much as I can say right now. I have a 22 cruiser. I am saving it for either Jitsu or Sandy. Whichever one comes first. <laughs> Although right now it probably might end up being San Diego. <laughs> from what I'm hearing lately. Yep, that is it exactly, Popo. I don't know how what you have to do f to get to... Uh, to be able to request that, because... You know, I own this guild, so I just I don't actually uh I haven't actually seen what it's like to search for a guild because I didn't do it. I guess I could log off and sign on to my alt. I guess I could have done that. Eh. You have Jinsu maxed. Just so I'm waiting for Sandy Retro. Okay. If I do manage to get like Jitsu uh Jinsu around the time I can uh Retrofit Sandy, it's probably going to be San Diego because Jinsu's probably going to have to go through the what level 90 95 before I can use up every single or purchase every node on her retrofit plan. Whereas San Diego's already level 100, so she has an advantage. Saratoga retrofit win. I'm curious as to what they would do with that. I actually do wonder if they're going to release any retrofits, um, what the next ones are going to be. I've heard rumors it could be, um, second carrier division. Be kind of cool. Sadly, I'm playing on Washington. Eh, don't worry about it, man. You don't, I mean, <laughs> you can't, you wouldn't be able to do much on Aurora with me anyway, right now. You can't get in the guild, guild's full. You can waiting list, but I don't know how long that'll be. Uh, my friends list is full, so it's kind of unfortunate. They have the Sarah retrofit on CNC. So, ooh, I actually kind of want to look at, look at the design for that. One of the things I really do like about the retrofits is their is how they redesign the character. Like Abukama looks completely different. Uh, obviously, Furutaka and Kako, or Kako get a uh, pretty good change. Ayanami not as much. It's not, like, huge, but it's a little noticeable. People say Laffy's is pretty noticeable, but when I look at it, I don't really see that. I guess maybe a little bit? I don't know. Ayanami just took out 10,000 health there. Then again, all five hit.
Oh, this is a oh, this is a tracker. I hate trackers. Song play at Lexington? Nope. I'm looking on the Washington. <laughs> You're on the Washington server, football. <laughs> that would explain the problem. You found a poi garden. I'm I'm not surprised you'd find a a poi garden. But yeah, it might be a while before you can get on. I gotta go. I'm gonna go attack Grumpy Girl here. Mostly because uh, I don't usually kick people, and leveling up a guild takes a long time. Even with people are active, it takes a while. Some retro of great plot. I did not face torpedo that. Eh, still about ten thousand. I think I think I saw that was a number. I gotta hit her again here. It's about ten thousand already down. So I've got about twenty-five percent of her health out. Yeah, I have yet to really alt. I used, I did create an alternate account, but I actually haven't used it. I don't remember. What, I don't even remember what server it was on. But uh, never really. I've played on an alt. I've just been using my main and haven't really gone anywhere else. Better that way, probably. Although it was weird. When I went through the tutorial on my... Uh, the one I did for the San Diego video, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, my uh, cruiser, care, uh, cruiser builds were... I forget who my second cruiser, or my second light build was, but my heavy build, I think, was uh, Chicago. <laughs> I only play on Sandy. I haven't even thought about getting an alt. I don't really feel, I don't really want to get an alt. I know some people do like to do that, but I don't want to. I don't want to have to go through. I mean, I don't mind going, doing a bunch of grinding, but I. This is like right at the comfortable level of, you know, when you it it does take a while to grind some things out, but it's not painful grinding. Of course, doing it again would be a little painful, but that's a different thing. Your alt is on roar. Oh, okay. Game's too much time to grind. Exactly. I'm actually surprised I've actually got many episodes at a level 100, so that's the uh, big victory for today. I guess at this point now it's Cleveland and Helena I need to get to level 100. No one playing at Lexi. Eh. I've been hearing a lot of people saying that a lot of the, like, YouTube people have been on Aurora. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. I find it kind of funny. Trying to see here. Oh, Sebastian's at Lexi. There you go. Right, I'm not on the boss. I'm thinking I'm on like the boss uh, fleet, so I'm like holding my uh, holding my abilities until the boss shows up. Like, wait, no, this isn't the boss. I'm not grind that heavily unless I'm going for a character drop. Yeah, like I don't think I've actually had to grind ridiculous amounts of. T I spent like a large amount of time grinding. Except for one occasion, and that was uh, Deutschland. That is the only time I've had to grind, and uh, uh, for a ridiculous period of time. And I brought my oil down from I think twelve hundred, or no, twelve thousand to I th want to say uh, like forty three. This is like the, I will say one thing that's weird about this event is this is the first event I've had, or that I've been playing on, that uh, I've gotten all the ships before the event end. I always usually have one ship that I don't get until the end of the event, and this is the first one that went against that rule. So, hooray, I guess?
keep hearing what sounds like door knocks or something, but I'm not actually seeing anybody under the door. But stuck on the Yudachi grind along with the point grind in this event. The point grind is actually like it's just like Fallen Wings. It was it's pretty worth it. There's a lot of stuff that I could use on both uh, from the store as well as the uh, Crimson. It's the other one. The one the event where you get Makinami. Hey, some dude, how you doing, man? Spoopy. Maybe I'm bumping into something? Maybe I could be bumping something. I don't see anything I could be bumping into. I don't know. Weird. Under the door? Okay. <laughs> yeah, um... The bottom of the door by my, like, the entrance to my, uh, room is a bit, is, is just high enough that I can actually kind of see under the door and if someone's got their if someone's like standing right by the door I can actually see their feet but they're not uh, <laughs> they're not like it's not like, you know, like I can look underneath the uh, door pretty well and my phone locked oh that's what it is yeah I can't say it's that I don't know Doing it for collection mostly. Doing what for collection again? Yudachi. Yudachi's actually not a bad character from her from the stats I've seen on her and her overall how she the overall impression she gives. She seems like she's not a bad destroyer. Switch you there. Uh, I should pro I think what I'll probably do. <clears throat> Magi's skills are gr are pretty dang good. I might actually see how she'll do if Washington takes this, uh, takes some time out. I might actually throw her in a mob clear fleet. She'll probably, if, if I take her off this fleet and replace her with a Moggy, she'll go to uh, my mob clear fleet and replace Queen Elizabeth because Queen Elizabeth has very little impact on that fleet. Why not? That's Queen Elizabeth. It's actually War Spite there right now. Hmm. What game is this? This is Other Lane, a mobile game. Surprisingly enough. You were level 90? Wow. I think I'm I am getting I'm gonna be really happy when I hit level 80. Azur Lane minus the E, yeah. I've seen it spelled both ways, honestly, with the E and without the E. I don't know why she kind of looks like Blackheart. She really isn't. She really isn't. That might actually finish it. We got. Oh no, Helena's buff wore off. I was like, that might actually finish the game right there with <laughs> Helena's buff kicking in and then it wore off. I'm like, oh, I'll shoot. There we go. Hey, Flux. Awesome. Also, and I get Signet. Well, that ends that one, and now I get to do this one. It's not gonna play the song the first time around, is it? I'll have to fight a Magi. I feel like I need a Magi to fight a Magi. Although, we all know that's not at all what I need. 500. Isn't that Prince Gun? It is Prince Gun. At least it's uh, the Yugen Gun in this one. What? Well, Azulian changed. 
Change to San <laughs> Sandy Lane instead. <laughs> Sandy Lane. <laughs> Actually, wait, I have enough for a bowling, don't I? I'm gonna get a bowling. Pet bowling. <laughs> See? Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> she has D's all around. <laughs> all right. I was trying to figure out who, because I need to have a heavy cruiser here. Yeah, I do. Okay. I feel like I might have issues with Furutaka, but if I, I can't really, I don't have a good lot of good options here. I could use Prins, but that just means the front line's not very strong. Not that. Well, it's a bit of a dip. The only difference is the two, two thousand health, which for a CA is pretty ridiculous. Get the BP first. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I will. I'll, I'll get it. Since I'm on, I'm on D three now. I can just grind that one. I'm actually gonna three star D uh, D three. That will be the big goal for that. Wow, Norfolk has that much health? I didn't realize that. Also, why does she not have, like, ser real talk here, why does she not have a retrofit? Sufolk does. They're, like, these these are like the intro characters, and she has a retro, but she doesn't. I'm, like, upset about this. The <laughs> good point about Makinami is, there's only, is only her smug face. Wait, she has a smug face? Hold up. Ooh, I'm short on- I'm low on torpedo stat, really. I need more torpedo stat. I don't really know what to do here, then. What if I switched out with her with Leander? That'll do it. So I can use Leander. All right. <laughs> I want to see this. I want to see the smug face. <laughs> I want to see the smug face. All right. Who can take some time out? Okay. Uh, speaking of which, no. No. There. We gotta keep this. This has gotta be. This is important. Akashi, you have one job. No, not that. <laughs> the face on Bailey. All right, I am gonna let North Carolina sit off for a bit. All right, so Makinami. There you are. Let me see. The, let me see the level of smug on this character. <laughs> Is that it? Was that it? <laughs> how to make how to make everyone mad at how to, how to make everyone mad at Makinami. <laughs> there you go. That's all you need is this little bit right here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh gosh that is really funny it's great that makes me actually kind of want to uh handle let me do this then Uh, I need to keep her in there though. All right, Akashi. No, we'll keep Akashi in. Uh, Bailey. We'll take Bailey out for now. I don't plan to uh, work on her retrofit immediately. We need more smug, which means we need Sims. <laughs> we need Sims.
There we go. Hang on. <laughs> oh god. Kagura also has a smug- she does kind of have one, yeah, it's true. Oh god, she's Naruto running. Alright, I'm gonna take Sims off and put, uh... Bailey back in. I mostly have been using this for, uh... Getting characters up to their retrofit levels. Actually, I could probably do my- the... few things I need to do now. Not enough smug. We can get more smug eventually. Apparently somebody's sweating here. Oh man. Alright, anyway. You guys are saying I have a lot of firepower? I do oh my, I really do have a lot of firepower. Where is that, anyway? Hood's got it- Hood's count- Hood and Warspite are probably about, what? 800, 900 of that? Furutaka has 200. Laffy is 130. Leander is 170. Ayanami is in like the double digits. What is, uh, what's Minneapolis at? 223. A level 69 bullying. Yep, I have a level 69 bullying. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I can assure you it's fine. Okay, have that one, that one. I had you, you're not in here anymore. 171, 142. That's a decent amount right there with just four ships. I have, who else? Ayanami, who's got 64. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not much. Uh, Cleveland, I already have Cleveland. Who am I missing? Furutaka, where are you? 92, 209. So yeah, it's mostly backline. It's mostly my two BBs then. No, my three BBs. I have three BBBC characters. 287, well you're down one. 305, 394. Wow, that's a difference. Wait, BC, BB, never mind. What character do you want to have a retrofit that currently doesn't not that does not exist in any versions of the game? I want to know. Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh. <laughs> uh, that is actually a really good question. Now I, it's like now I have to like sit in my dock and figure out what I would want for that. <sighs> Actually, you know what? No, she no, she you do have one. I was like, I was about to say she didn't know you, then everybody's wait, no, she's got one. It's just not in yet. Which is funny because that brings her back like without I without Ayanami's retrofit, Ayanami and Shinonui can pretty much be equivalent to each other. But once Shinonui gets her retrofit, they're almost equivalent again. The difference between Shinonui and Ayanami is the fact that Shinonui has the advantage of double torpedo. Who would I want to have a retrofit for? Part of me actually wants to say unicorn unless she does have one. Unicorn would be interesting, I for sure. I know Extra has one, so I can't say anything to her. <laughs> Glow Glowworm would be funny. Some kind of a retrofit skill that gives her- that just makes her ramming game all the more terrifying would be pretty funny. You want rallying? Okay. That's fine. I can see that one. Yeah, Glowworm would be a really funny retrof- if she could get retrofitted. Unicorn would probably be one of the more practical ones that I would like. These are still characters I have used a bit. Not all of them here, but some of them.
I know these two are getting one recent uh, later on. That'll be interesting. I think a retrofit for these two would be, might be interesting. Make them a bit more viable in the later game. Not necessarily that they should be used. I mean, not necessarily late game as in chapter 9, 10. Just a little further along than they can get right now. Otherwise, I'm not really sure who else I could say. If I'm going to, to go no, if I'm going to say SSRs, or hmm, imagine a bullying retro. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, actually. <laughs> that would actually give people the reason to level them up, which would be, which would take some time. Fifth division should have a retro as well. That is true. Well, no, the only reason like. First Division and Fifth don't have a retrofit, or do they? I don't think these two do. Unless you count, the, unless you count their conversion into an aircraft carrier as a retrofit, <laughs> then sure. But the only reason, like Second Carrier Division, is would get one, and why I could see Fifth and First not, is because the Fifth and First already are SRs. Retrofits for Second Carrier will make them SRs. Hmm. But yeah, of the of the SRs that I would like to see get a retrofit. Okay, you're not allowed. You already have one. <laughs> Bullying retro gets the ability to hit enemy with a massive wrench. <laughs> you use that in exercise. You delete the enemy. You delete the ship from the other player's dock. <laughs> Hmm. Honestly, one thing I would like to see would be the repair ships getting some kind of a retrofit. Because I've used them a little bit. I had Akashi in the original feet, uh, two fleets for the event. That's a little lewd there, Akashi. Um... <laughs> and don't don't worry, this isn't her default loadout, I don't think. I just threw stuff on there right now. Because Vestal has all this stuff. Um, I, but I feel like the repair ships just really aren't as strong as they sound they like like as they would sound. Something that would be a bit more uh, ridiculous uh, for them would be nice. Akashi retro for Magi. Belfast Retro. She has a really good role, though, that she fulfills. So I don't think she really needs one. I guess you could just make her stronger. I guess that's not a bad thing. Not really sure why I needed torpedo boosts here. Hey, look, it's Jinsu. I don't have to go to 10 4, guys. Yeah, it could be buffed a tad, or give, and give him like a, a really good skill. Of course, the problem then runs into, well, if you do retrofit them, what do you do for blueprints? Do you make a unique blueprint set? If you do, what, no, what uh, mission type should they drop on? Can't pass 10 3 without a repair ship. I can imagine them being pretty good. I know there's a few people I know that say. <coughs> Hi, Repulse. Um, that have said that they don't use uh, repair ships at all because they just think they're really bad. I've used them a bit. They're not, but they're great for auto fleets. But I haven't really seen them shine too well in the later chapters. At least not yet. Maybe in 10, when I do chapter 10, I'll consider them. But I gotta level them up first and limit break them a bit before I can actually take advantage of it. But what's nice too is if you do, I guess if you did take them into later chapters, you do have what? The increased ammo, so that actually is pretty handy. Especially if you're using the mob clear fleet. Hmm. 
Yeah. She didn't receive her retro IRL because she sank before it happens. But at that point, then, you know... Actually, that probably would be interesting because then they, they're, they're up to their creative freedoms for that retrofit then. Because the skill... You know, if, if, if the retrofit was supposed to happen but never happened because she was sunk... Then, uh, yeah, they're, they get, like, complete creative... Hey, level 100 Cleveland! Sorry for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, they get complete control over her, you know, design and everything. They get to choose how different, how much different she might look, how, uh, what kind of skill she would have, because there would be nothing historically, uh, uh <laughs> historical to go base it off of, unless you base it on... You really couldn't even do it, like... Make the skill based on something before the retrofit, because then that would... The retrofit itself violates that. I don't know. I can see some pretty fun things, though. What if I can actually... Whoop. I think the one thing is, like... I'll say, this event definitely had a, a bit more of an engaged story. <laughs> I actually, like, enjoyed it. It was a very short one, but it actually had, like... It, it worked, and I really liked it. And of course, the, uh... You know, as you guys might have... As you guys probably saw with the uh, community posting that I can do on YouTube, uh, <laughs> B3 did not <laughs> treat me well. <laughs> I don't think it, anyone uh, did uh, did okay. Or well, maybe I think some the people that were have already been through the event were probably fine. But <laughs> B3 or D3 probably <laughs> gave them something to be a little bit upset about. Imagine Sharnhorst. I think that's how you say their name, Sharnhorst. Some German probably just cringed right now. Or cr cringed right now. IRL has 15 go- oh, Jesus! Something that would be interesting is there is a, um... Like, modern day- modern day US military, I think there is a ship that has a very expensive experimental weapon installed. I think it'd be interesting to see, uh, Ozzer Lane somehow incorporate that ship in with that experimental weapon. I forget which ship it is, but I think it's a railgun tech. Alright, so I gotta do the f one three star challenge here. Is the Bismarck will release or just for the story? Bismarck? I just still find it really hilarious the fact that Hosol has gone has a gun. The, inf the infamous story, I, or the infamous little funny scenario I made, is all the aircraft carriers are in, are having this giant fight in one of the like dorm rooms. They're all sitting there holding their little planes, like as they're threatening, like it's it's their main way of threatening each other. <laughs> Whole soul just walks into the room, pulls out her gun, and just points it at people. <laughs> I'm sure there's another carrier. That, I think there's two carriers that have guns, but still. All right, time for the painful part. Well, maybe painful. I got rid of all the elites, so this won't be too painful. But yeah, uh, the only reason, I, yeah, as Popo said, I don't Bismarck. I don't think is even released anywhere. I believe people should know what cl what ship class she should be. Well, at least Ayanami's torpedoes still do really good damage, even at half firepower. Oh, I missed half, like, almost all those torpedoes of Demon Dance. <laughs> it 
like he's San Diego's like the person that like walks in, screams everyone, tells them to chill. <laughs> and that was the one day where San Diego was the voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny though if you think about that. Oh man. I can't imagine like if that was an animated scene that'd be really funny. But unfortunately I don't think anyone's made all the 3D models for all the characters so they'd have to go, go through that stage first. Sandy is the voice of reason. All is lost. <laughs> submarines are every back lines. Nightmare. I, I know. I know they have submarines coming. What's really funny is they've already had a submarine in dialogue. Appear in the <laughs> appear Ian side already. I think it was in uh, the Halloween event or dialogue event. I'm actually kind of curious as to how submarines will work. So it'll be exciting when that time comes around. It does kind of make me wonder, um... If they're used often in exercises. Know, that torpedo curved hard. <laughs> I know they're magnetic, but dang, that one curved. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, um, I guess before I do try to restart this, does, um, does event hard modes work like normal hard modes, or do I still have to go through all the nodes before I get to the boss? In terms of, like, the threat level thing. I know you have to, I, I know you have to three star. And now that now that we're talking about submarines, I'm reminded of I-19 from Console Collection. <laughs> oh god, the jokes around that character. Some that snake is the one that finished off your town during the Battle of Midway. Like the, you know, now that I think back to it, when I had a history class, when I was still in school, like Battle of, we did have an extended period of time in our history class where we talked about World War II, and I'm pretty sure Battle of Midway was really the only, like, naval battle that my teacher covered at the time. Interestingly enough, I don't. I, I mean, she might have covered more, but I mean, it's been. Eight years since I took the history class? The sub she mentions is the one that sunk her and finished off your t Oh, okay. I was sitting there, I was like, what do you mean loading screens might be starting? Oh, okay, no. I thought it just said, uh, Ham- I thought you just said it just defeat. It, it sunk Hammond. I didn't read the Yorktown bit. I, uh, <laughs> doing this test stream has made me really, really wish I had two screens again. Can I get rid of that one? Nope. Get the dev out of the Philippine theater. Uh, can't say I know it. Like I said, I think Battle of Midway is really the only thing it covered. Like most of most of my like 
most of the things she uh, subjects she covered in World War Two anyway were just like the major battles that happened on ground, not necessarily naval wise. They come in when you deploy. Oh, so it's like a support, like a, so it's like these. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see my cursor. I don't know if I disabled it. Because uh, I've been messing with it for the past hour, so I've probably turned off and turned on a bunch of things. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Is it let's one of these bottom three icons? They aren't in PvP. Oh! where the iron bottom sound is located, if I recall. That would, I guess, make some sense. Oh god, Kirishima. No. No, Kirishima. Go away. I'm not doing enough damage. She's just gonna hit War Spite. I just realized that's a Tago. What's a Tago doing here? I never noticed a Tago was in that. <laughs> Next to <a> Bikini. <laughs> so that's why all their houses and stuff look like submarine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, I got two nodes left, and that's the one tick to do. War Spite is getting pretty beat up. Who is this, and why is this. Why is the stream am I recommended? Hello, Kaiser. I am everyone and no one. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm just a... As to why this is in your this stream is in your recommended, I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if everyone that's watching right now were to ask me that question, I still wouldn't know the answer. But either way, if you want to, if you're going to stick around, hope you enjoy. Blame YouTube. <laughs> Hot to zero and because reasons. <laughs> yes, because reasons specifically. Kirishima does not like war spite. How historically accurate is this? I don't know. Meanwhile, war spite retaliates. Why is your speak, commoner? Why? I am no lord of anything. I see. Thanks for the explanation. You're welcome. I guess. <laughs> Can't see. Oh, hi, Rodney. I don't remember. Wow, it's been a long time since I've heard this line. Oh, right, she's Big Seven. Her and Nelson. Right. That's like. Well, what is her skill? Alright, one more node, and that's the last one. I should probably switch my flagship. Uh, let's swap you two. Poor Soho, if I made her the middle, the flagship, she'd get bullied so hard. <laughs> Mushroom. <laughs> Mushroom. <laughs> Big seven that I care about is Nagato. I still, I still find all of the um, illustrations with the Nagatos from both games as probably like one of the best things I've ever seen. It's just Nagamon at her finest, and poor <laughs> Al Nagato. FBI, open up! <laughs> Just remember guys, incognito mode. Nope, don't let that one through. Nice. Military police, open up. I only care about the skill, OP. Oh yeah, I've read up on that. That is pretty, it is pretty crazy. KGB. This is an Azure Lane stream. I would like to formally introduce myself as Captain Kaiser. Also, how does one use Warspite? 
What do you... What do you mean? Like... It's Saturday at your place, right? Yep, it is still Saturday for me. I'm currently in Central Time Zone. It's different... It's weird being, uh... In a time zone I'm not normally in. Um... Like, what about War Spite specifically do you want? I guess if you want me to call you... Ki I'm guessing he's wanting me to call him Captain Kaiser. <laughs> Who's here? Is this Kaga? That's Kaga, right. He's <laughs> six. What? <coughs> for PvP. Oh, I don't really use her for PvP. Also, Kai is fine. Really? Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, I, I might not call you Kai, though. I know there's like two people besides you that are also called Kai. And that can get very confusing for a lot of people. For PvP though, War Spite? I wouldn't probably use her for PvP. I mean, the, her skill would be nice is nice because it means she's always gonna hit a backliner. I don't know. I mean I feel like PvP is so carrier dominated. Ah dang it, I gotta give me a second, guys phone decided to close. I need to figure out a way to how, how to prevent my phone from going to uh, locking the screen. But yeah, I, I I can't honestly I wouldn't probably use her for PvP. Then again, my my serious PvP quote unquote serious, if you even consider it serious. <laughs> um, like the back line is I think Enterprise, I think it's right now, Enterprise, Illustrious, and, uh, Long Island. Like, I don't really care too much for PvP. Yeah, let's use it. Hood's got a fast enough recovery rate on it. 19 in Aurora and 13 in Washington. Why are the different numbers? Also, what happened to 14 through 18? Okay, it's not playing that music. Whatever that one song was. Eldridge, oof. Yeah, that's true. I mean... A lot of a lot of the big businesses that are like around anything like media wise. This is a very interesting uh, like attack she's doing. It's this is interesting. Okay. Too bad. <laughs> too bad. Enterprise isn't like it. That's so cool. It's like Eldridge. I just realized Hood's getting hit that hard. What hit Hood? What hit Hood? My goodness! I wasn't even... I was so distracted by how pretty the freaking attack looked that I didn't even realize the Hood almost got destroyed. Holy crap, what hit her? 190. Okay, I thought I had... I can't... See the amount I have. Imagine Inter Enterprise could chain airstrikes like Ghost Boat. Oh, you mean like Ranger? <laughs> Ranger is Enterprise, except <laughs> potentially more devastating. Oh wow, look at that! I didn't realize I had that. Huh? I never even saw these birds here. Is D. Or the three that hard. I don't think it's hard. I just don't even. Know. I just don't know what was hitting Hood. Thirteen to eighteen is banned in Aurora. Really? Yeah, it's not really that hard. I just don't know what ha what happened to Hood. Cause I got the I got the notification for Hood and I looked over and I was like she has no health. That was weird. Was that AP attack she was doing hitting the backline? 
I don't know why. Oh, right. I just want the barrage to come out as fast. Ooh, I can max this. I need to get this replaced with the good Boar Force gun, right, which I think is a recipe. A blueprint I can get. I said recipe. I think it's a blueprint in chapter C here? Or. No. No, that's triple 155. Ah, here it is. There is the Boar Force. So it's, it's C3. That's why I would grind for C3. Not oh, really, really, bro. <laughs> Where is the event? There it is. I can't see it right now. You can't name myself 13 as 13 until 18. Huh. It seems very strange to me. But if they... if it's not allowed, it's not allowed. What's on C3? Uh, the Boar Force uh, blueprints. Do I have Nicholas? No. I don't think I do. I have Richmond. I think that's the closest, that's the only, that's the only person I think I have right now is Richmond. How does one level ships to 100 fast? Uh, one level ships to level 99 fast? You don't level, level ships to level 100 that quickly. And I'm told it gets worse afterwards. Yeah, because of his name and game. Wow. I didn't know they were that stingy about that. The only- yeah, like, I will only use double autoloader on Hood. That is the only person I would give it to. Otherwise, at most, I'm giving them one. This Jinsu wouldn't know that dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, that last level does take an eternity. It's actually kind of funny, really. You have several on 90. Oh, that's... is that Chokai? Is this Chok... is this supposed to be Chokai? Because I just saw Jinsu. So is this Chok... is this Chokai? I'm assuming... I'm assuming that's Chokai. <laughs> I just saw Jinsu and thought Chokai, because that's... Who would think next? For some oh wait, no. I wouldn't I wouldn't think that. I'd think Sendai or Naka, honestly. I don't know why I thought Chokai. Never mind. Chokai's sister ships No it is Jin is it Jin? No. Oh my god, I'm forgetting. Maya, it's Maya. Maya and technically a Takao. Doesn't make the cooldown faster. Yes, it makes the gun fire faster. It's not the barrage, dude. It makes the gun faster, which makes the cooldown in turn faster. Because that's really how that is calculated. Hey, Mikey. Oh, hi. It's another... Oh my god, I'm forgetting the name. So are you. My phone is about dead. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't expect her to move. <laughs> she moved. Yeah. Like, my main reasoning why I'd use autoloaders is just because it's really- it's beneficial in early when you're leveling a character at start. Why it doesn't work on my BB. What gun are you using? What is the enhancement level? What is their reload? I need these three numbers. <laughs> really, the one that matters the most is the reload. One thing I will definitely say is putting autoloaders on, you're gonna... Especially if the character is over already over 100 reload, you're probably going to have maybe one to two second difference. It's not really noticeable. The only time it will be noticeable is if their person, if their actual reload is under a hundred without the autoloader, or no, goes over a hundred with the autoloader. 
auto reloader. Or, bleh, auto loader. Ah, I can't English. Derp, <laughs> derp, tis. Gun with two plus ten auto loader and hood. I don't remember what I'm using. What am I using? It's a double. It's a times two barrage. Or no, two shot. It's a two shot. Let's say it that way. I'm using the 410. Let's do it. But yeah, most cases, um... Oh, right. Fiesta. Hey, look, I got another battleship blueprint, and I can get another Makinami. Alrighty then. Okay, that'll be nice to know. What? I mean, like, the one thing I know, like, that I do is I, I will use autoloaders heavily on BBs and BCs that are under 100 because it actually benefits them pretty ridiculously. Um, uh, there is still the argument that it's not going to be a considerable amount of shots fired versus not having them on, but you save... You can save a pretty good amount of time if they have under 100 reload without it. You guys are actually trying to play the game. I'm just here to collect my fist. Oh no, don't worry, I am too. I am trying to keep one of every ship in my dock. Like, one of the things I actually found really fun to try to figure out was... I have the math back at home, but I don't have... I have the... <laughs> all the mathematics paperwork I have back at home, but... Uh, I was trying to see the... The dif what the reload... The amount of reload that's added temporarily to... Ships that have, I think it's the high... Quality firing control radar? You have it on, don't you? This thing. I was trying to figure out what technically the reload would be to mimic this. Just out of curiosity, I think... It, assuming the stats on South Dakota, I think it was like a 60, 70... No, no, 50. 50, 60 um, reload stat that's added on top. Where do I go? Let's go here. Can't reach- oh, right. <laughs> I gotta remember that that's how this works. <laughs> you know, there is something I need to figure out, is how f how many squares can I go? What's the highest square, uh, number of square- number of tiles I can move on the overworld if I stack the right stats? Because I think it's all based on the, uh, speed stat. My phone needs to stop closing. You already have 12k oil, bro. Why do you need more? <laughs> 12k oil, what do you mean? I'm actually trying to burn it, man. Who did you pledge? Uh, oh, that's that? <laughs> this will be an interesting one. There's... We're gonna have a lot of waifus incoming. I did none. Oh, you still have your... You still have your oath ring. Wow. Ayanami and Jinsu. At that time, illustrious. Okay, so two for illustrious. Well, I mean, I have illustrious as one. She's not my first. I think she's number two. Illustrious was number two. Number one is repulse. Does anyone know how to proceed onto the event C1 stage? So, how to play hard mode? So, you've gone through A1 all the way to B3. All you gotta do is hit this button down here, and then it should throw you right here. You just gotta hit the hard icon down at the bottom left here. The 
button doesn't show. That is weird. It's not showing up. Huh. Uh, I would probably say you might want to reach out to the devs and see what to do about that, because I have no idea. It says I still have stages to complete. You've three-starred and cleared everything, right? That is weird. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I would say talk to the developers. <laughs> What's this? Oh, hello, Astral Eagle. <laughs> Waiting for the... Ooh. I was wait I was about... I was like, oh god, there's an Awu. What's this in here? How did you get Ayanami? So, you need Javelin, Z23, and Laffy. You must la max limit break all three of them. Which means getting all of them to level 70, and then limit breaking them all three times. When you do that, she, uh, Ayanami is a quest reward. Try clicking on the A maps. B map says you can't yet. Oh, is it a bug with the B with the B maps? Oh, really? So it's a bug with the B? Really? Hold on, I want to see this. So if I'm here... Hold up. Huh. Maybe it's on a different server? Depend I don't know. That's weird. I'm sure I'll probably run into it, but as of right now, it doesn't seem like I'm getting it. Where was I able to solve it? I don't have that as a problem, which is why I'm like sitting there kind of a little bit confused. It could be... What server are you on, Doggy? I'm on Aurora, so it should be fine. All right, I need to see what happens. Um, I want to keep an eye on Hood's health. I'm not sure what's hitting her. Lexington, maybe it's a Lexington issue. That's weird. I don't know. That's weird. I don't. It could be your game's corrupted or something's freaking out. Could be a bug. I'm, I know. I'm not sure. I just gotta figure out what the heck was hitting Hood last time around. Was it just suicide ships? Like, see, Kirishima just attacked, but that did minimal damage to her. <laughs> Die it, Toggle. All right, what happened? Is it just a Magi shooting back at her? That was it, right there. That's hitting her. That should finish it. That's what it was. Was that barrage she's doing? <laughs> I got Galatia. That is weird, though. It's cle it's kind of interesting because it's really hard to see that if you're, unless you're looking for it, because it blends in with the blue attacks that she normally does. Just notice surf doesn't help. That is, that is really weird, dog, or doggy. I 
That is strange how it's doing that. I'm, I'm just here cause to watch cause 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 all my ships are in a really long exercise with large amount of XP. You mean commission? Oh, you're talking the, the, this one. I should probably, you, oh, well. Uh, huh, well. Oh boy, 10 oil. There's 500, so the cost of that's gone. And I'll get this, because why not? I'm in here because the stream has a test in it. Oh. Yeah, I'm, uh... The overall goal of this was to see how well it would do on, uh... This, my current internet standings and, uh... Computer specs. Normally, when I'm streaming, I'm on my desktop with Ethernet. That has pretty dang good. But... I am away from home for a while, so I am testing how well it's doing on, well, a weaker version of my usual setup. Which so far, judging by how you guys are, uh, basically from what you guys have said so far, it seems like it's doing okay. So that's good. So yeah, that's why it's called the test. It's just look at that. Yeah, I'm. Su it's surprising considering the fact that I am streaming on Wi. -Fi. There's Jack. I'm streaming on Wi-Fi. Mic sounds good. Quality ain't bad too. Yeah, my, I would hope the mic sounds good. It's a pretty expensive mic. <laughs> I bought it a while back ago when I was uh, doing uh, a trying uh, audition for auditioning for voice acting a while back ago. I'm just check in here. Yeah, something great. I don't think these books are ever worth any gems. Really, nothing in here is worth the gems. Still makes me wonder if should who makes more money? Is it Shidanui or is it Akashi? If you were, if you, everything was all one currency, I wonder what the what the amount of uh, that currency generated from both are. How do you play Ozerlane on... Yes, Nox. N-O-X. Nox player. As Mikey said. I'm going to give up on this event and just grind regular maps. I can't go beyond event B stage. That is really weird. You hate your figure sometimes. Kashi because skin and gems. The only reason why I would why I can suspect this is because like for example this thing is 20% off it's 5600 gems or no 5600 coin if it were gems that'd be really a rip off uh, <laughs> that would be that'd be a really bad rip off um, currently it's 1000 of those for 300,000 coins so if you did the currency change here you're almost doing 200 gems you're basically spending 200, uh, 200 gems just to buy this thing. And the fact that this refreshes constantly and you can continue to buy this, that's still considerable. Yeah, I do that all the time too. It's it's annoying when it happens. You just accidentally fat finger it, as, the, as we all call it. Oh, there's a Kirishima and another Chokai. Hopefully you guys do not hear that. That is the air conditioning unit. Oh my goodness. It could be your, yeah, I mean, I guess it could be a Sebastian is maybe your, sh your ship composition or their overall levels is under, is low. Or I know that sometimes you can't proceed uh, onto the next chapters unless you're a certain Admiral rank. Maybe that's part of it. Oh god, why? I don't know if you can hear it. I, it I'd hope not. Let me phrase it. Because it's because that guy... The, the guy that posted to Discord. About the one who owes 105. Oh, the, yeah, that guy. I actually saw that on on the... I didn't see that on Discord. I saw that on Twitter first. <laughs> I looked at those like... That man's dedicated. 
I was like, that's almost what I'm going to be doing, except minus the whole um, rings bit, because I don't think I'm going to spend that much unless I were to suddenly <laughs> have that much gems just secretly deposited into my <laughs> account somehow. Yeah, that would be expensive. That's 600 gems times 100. That's... Uh, dear, ugh. Ooh, 60,000 gems just for 100 of them. Oh, wait, is that like, what is that, like 63,000? Ugh. Which that, I want to say... I don't know how many that... I don't even know how many gems... Ow. I think it's like 20 bucks. I feel like it's 20 bucks for... I think it's $1 to 100 gems. I think that's how Akashi Shop does it. Where am I going? Alright, Chokai. So divide that. I, I if it's if it is if it's one to a hundred. That's still like what. Six hundred thirty dollars. Yeah. Minus the free one you get. So the free one you get, uh, you just take, so it'd be 624 dollars, I think. Seems about right. Because there's always one ring you get for free, and then the other 104 he bought, unless he's got, unless he was, unless he did something with that one ring, then dispose of it. See, like, the thing is, it's like, I don't, I, uh, to me, to us, that sounds like it's a lot of money. What was really scary is when you think about it, a lot of games nowadays, well, okay, a lot of the AAA games have been a little bit bad with how they do DLCs and stuff. So, oh, okay, yeah, I'll sort through that. Uh, fun, I get to do with that now. That's storage. 600 gems are 10 dollars. Oh, well that's way better then. Okay, that's way better. So, if it's if it's if it's basically what? We said what? 63,000? So, if it's 63,000, then that means he spent Dear god, that's still a decent amount. <laughs> so 600 gems to ten dollars that is my gosh that is crazy Ugh. I'd rather not think about that still I'd rather not think about it but yeah, like like I said, if people want a whale, then let them. I mean, the thing is, like, sure, if people are whaling on this game, I'm not going to get mad at them because I actually do like this game and I just look at it as the developers are getting a pretty decent amount of money. If it were a game like EA, then there's the whole you're part of the problem thing that always happens. So I might as well start I might as well start enhancing her considering the fact that I know I'm gonna probably try to get her combat ready. Oh my gosh, I did not know I had this many crescents. My health seems to have improved. Guys, we're doing it! Guys, we're saving her! 
Look. Every single time we enhance her, she says it. She even lets us know. Her health has seemed to improved a bit. This is that's the key to saving her, guys. We have to enhance her. Continue to enhance her. I think that's all I want to give. When you enhance a Magi, her eye looks different. I think it's because her facial expression changes. Yes, it does. Yeah, so she's one of the she's one of the few characters that actually has a uh, changing sprite. She needs some milk. <laughs> do I have another carrier? I guess I could do Graf. Wait, actually, where's Kaga at in her enhancement? There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Protecting my view. <laughs> yeah, th there's like a good number of characters that have their uh, sprites that change when you click when you interact with them. It's actually kind of a nice thing, nice little tiny feature. I hope that they actually do add to all the characters so that way they all do that. Because like the first one I know of, I think that does it that I have on this roster that I need to actually fix because it's only showing super rares. Uh, I don't see one. One second. It's possible I've already probably missed them. Also, my phone went to sleep again. Ah! Phone, stop that. For those of you wondering why I have my phone, I only have one screen, so I can only see Azur Lane right now on my screen, so I have to use phone the phone for chat. I am very much so uh, trying to figure, th uh, figure out my solutions here. Took you for the medicine I've been using the past few days for being sick. Whiskey. <laughs> I don't think whiskey is a great med. I don't think that has a lot of medicinal properties to it. <laughs> All right, so this will probably be my last run. I didn't want to make the stream too long, and it is getting a little on the late end for me. Portable monitor, maybe. I mean, I do have a TV that I have next to me. I just need to go buy an HDMI cord for it. Of course, then that means I have a 15-inch laptop screen with. If I were to look and judge this TV screen, it's probably a 34. And it's not going to fit on the desk, I'll tell you that for certain. Be actually pretty funny if she did do her smug face while as secretary. Yeah, I'm not going to let you do that attack again. But I have a shield. Contact damage! How to abuse the shield, pop the shield, ram something. <laughs> you take no damage. Ooh. I wonder how I wonder how the shield works with Glowworm's skill. Because she's With Glowworm's skill you the your ships take less and Vanguard take less damage when colliding with something, but so you have the shields, so that means you take would the reduced damage apply to the shield? I need to test this. I feel like I need to do some science. No way I can really tell though. Because I know the shield does absorb contact damage. So that would just mean it lasts... L I mean, it's still going to only last for a small period of time, but would it not go as fast if you have glowworm when you collide.
What is the skill? Kusuma, her skill is passive. Eldridge, Eldridge uh, invulnerability does not uh, protect from contact. It is enemy. It is only enemy attack. So another, uh, like, it's the same thing with Lucky E. Lucky E prevents damage from enemy attack, but it does not protect against collision. Collision is not seen as an enemy attack, which is different, but it works. Why is Nagara? What about Nagara? Hey, how come a psychic? Are you? I, I predicted you have an in-game message. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Are you? No, who is Nagara? Oh, uh, I think I have her. Let me show you. Let me let me finish up this fight and then I'll pull her up. I think I cuz I think I have her. I think the one I'm missing is Isuzu, not um Nagara. I think by that I think by that the whole, I'm a psychic, there's a message waiting for you. I think anyone could claim to be a psychic at that point. I feel like we're gonna have to read this too. <laughs> Is Aurora any good? You're talking the HMS one, right? I always, I always hear Aurora and Avrora. Where? I don't think I've used her yet. She is Avrora. She's blue, I think. No, she's purple. She's, she's got a very, very pretty design to her. Let's see, Silver Phantom increased damage dealt to destroyers, cargo ships, torpedo ships. Bombing ships by 10%. Okay. So... That's not bad. What's this other one? Dawn. Reduce evasion of all enemy destroyers and light cruisers by 10% during battle. Ooh. That's a direct counter to this dodge stuff. That could be... That doesn't seem too bad, yeah. Alright, so you said Nagara... She's a common. So she's probably... Is she down here then? Nagata. There she is. That is Nagata. <laughs> Why? How? <laughs> what do you mean? Her, like, anywhere. Uh, she is a light build, if I remember correctly. She's one in that la very large light build pool. The one that I'm still actually trying to see if I can get St. Louis from before I go to 10-3. We had boss node. Okay, one more for boss. I did not look at the message. I haven't seen the Russian version of Avrora, uh, or the Russian, the Russian of, uh, ship. I gotta see what her skills are like before I can really say anything good or bad about her. Cause usually the things I look at first are ship class, then skills, then stat. It's usually all I care for. I do kind of look at weapon efficiencies, but they're not like the big thing, the bi like the big deal maker or breaker. I can tell I have reduced damage. I'm hitting like a wet noodle. That's been sitting in water for too long.
comment uh, comments are in the very later stages. Eh, not really. Every ship drop, no matter what rarity, has a use to me. So whether or not it's something I want doesn't really bother me. I mean, it's it's painful when you're sitting there trying to you know get like Deutschland and you keep getting uh, Oklahoma or something. That's about it. <laughs> Look at chest size. That's more than enough. <laughs> so then I bet you uh, missed out on uh, Furutaka and Kako with their retrofits then. <laughs> and maybe even the soon to come Foxhound as it terrifies me. Ten three is worse than ten four. I have heard that. For it is the Russian. Well, people have said it's they, they're pronounced very similar to each other. Now let's just get rid of her. Hello, Otago. I bet a good number of people were happy that she finally got her oath skin. I, is she? I, she's leaning forward when you fight her. I just realized that. No, you are not firing that. No, you're not firing that. That's not allowed. That is such a- it's such a cool attack, but it's so... Yeesh, at the same time. Lander is taking some good amount of damage, and I just ate that damn uh, attack. That is smoke screen. I should take advantage of that. Nope. I'm actually taking advantage of timing the attacks to screen clear now, rather than I'm going. <laughs> I'm doing like my old Toho rules. Oh, we're almost done. There we go. Leander almost went down. I need to put a uh, health kit on her. And I end with Salt Lake City. Is YouTube buffering? Alright, let's take a look here. Yeah, it could use a little bit. I'm not, I'm not dropping any frames currently, but I, could, I am still dropping frames. I have been, and not now. Alright, let's just see what this message is, wherever it is. Is it over here? Is it, oh god, there's two of you. Let's see, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> and of course, Buster. I like the name of your dorm, but <laughs> Do you know what mine is? I like the name of your dorm. <laughs> Do you know what mine is? What? What? Buster, why are you doing this? I need a, uh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> and I just need to throw something at William here. There we go. <laughs> I have given my responses. What if a glitch happened and that made the boss ships? That made the boss ships and it made them spam their boss special to oh. I actually have had that happen uh, in a different game, but it is not great when it happens too. I'm just checking everything. <laughs> so, all right, well. <sighs> I do want to. I do. I should probably spend some time. Maybe I don't. Not sure. I'm not sure if you guys want me to do it in stream, or not, or just do it on my own and then just randomly show it on uh, in the middle of a stream. But I do kind of want to redo my dorm. I do like this setup I have, but there's a lot of new furniture, and I do kind of want to add a few little interior decorations eventually. 
Also, what's really funny is I am actually unable to place any more furniture. I have hit the furniture max. I'm about halfway... I'm literally halfway in the decor max, too, which is pretty funny. And I have used very few wall... Uh, very little wall decor. Oh, okay, no. So. Oh. I see Akashi is sitting down. Stay down asleep. <laughs> Alright, so... I put her back. I don't... Oh, wow, you got to level 6 in the time you've been in the dorm. Dang. Who did I have in here before? I forgot who I had. Oh yeah, the permanent smoke. Yeah, uh, actually, it's everyone. Anyone who ha who makes any kind of facial expression in their idle animation when you put them in a bath, they will uh, show that face the entire time. Who did I have in here? I forgot who I originally had in here. I have to figure it out. I don't remember. That's unfortunate because it might be somebody that's. Uh, I'll I'll figure it out later. Until then, I'm just gonna put. Oh wait, no, I think I. Uh... Was it blue? No, what? There we go. Just put Vestal there. <laughs> I don't even remember who it is. Are you working on the Bailey secretary quest? No, Bailey has a retrofit. I probably should work on her sec on her secretary quest line. All right, here we go. Let's just put this here, put that there, put that there. There we go. Now we are in the best possible shape we can be in now. And my phone turned off again. <laughs> Life is pain. Life is pain. There we go. All right. Um, I do not have a any kind of fancy end screen. I was just trying to get the thing to work. Uh, okay, well they just went to sleep. <laughs> well, they wanted to go to bed. Okay, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't seen Akashi's fa uh, expression when she sleeps. <laughs> Anyway, um, I don't have any fancy little uh, stream end uh, screen or anything, so I'll, the feed will just straight up cut. So uh, I'll take a look at the archive when it gets out, and I'll see how it looks. I'll check sound and everything. This, this is really my chance to see kind of how the overall stream did. It looks like it did pretty well, and if it does well enough, I might be able to stream maybe once a week, which I think will be fine. So, <laughs> I just find it funny that these two actually went to sleep. Vestal is uh, content over there, so. <laughs> anyway, well, I um, hope you guys enjoyed as, well, it is a little bit of a shorter stream, but hopefully it wasn't, uh, it was something to kind of fill in the gap that, I mean, I, uh, since I haven't been streaming for a while, but uh, again, I'll see, I'll get, let you guys know, uh, I do have it. I do usually tend to post announcements on the Discord. The link for that is in the description below, so feel free to check that out if you want. And I'll probably post the announcement on what I'll do. What if I do decide to do a stream? What time? What day? Maybe what time it would be. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that. So, what are the rewards for the secretary quests? A uh, variety of things depends on what the secretary is. Could be anything. Usually, it, the end goal is a skin, unless it's just a bunch of nice gear. So, alright guys, I will catch you guys all again later on.